Hey guys, it is Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and today I wanted to show you a quick tip and best practice when sending out a monthly neighborhood nurture to your database. Uh, so first things uh, you're going to want to do is when you go into Smart Plans, you can uh, make sure you add the monthly or bi-weekly neighborhood uh, nurture smart plan from the library, which you can see the monthly neighborhood nurture there. You can add smart plan and that's going to add it. And there's a bi-weekly one as well. So you could do one for both of these. I would uh, make sure both are added to your database. Then you can go over here to my smart plans and click this create button right up here. You're going to go ahead and hit create and you can just do, uh, I'll just do MMN for monthly neighborhood nurture intro. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply and now it's going to load in to build the smart plan. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email. And we're going to do a simple email. And we'll just do um, what's going on in your neighborhood. And then I, um, I, I could do, hey, and then hit this merge fields, this little F. Uh, look at the merge field and do contact name. Uh, hey, put a comma there, and then I already pre-typed this out. Uh, I wanted to keep you up to date what's going on in your neighborhood. As homes come on the market, you will get a monthly summary of market statistics and info on the homes sold. While you may not be interested in selling your home anytime soon, it is always great to see what's, what homes are uh, going for in your area and seeing what your equity of your home is. You should be receiving your my first email tomorrow and every 30 days after that. Let me know if you want to add it any additional neighborhoods to that search. Have a great day, Garrett. So as you can see, I put that info in there uh, and it should. Uh, this will be the intro email to the neighborhood nurture. Now I'm gonna set a delay uh, and I can just minimize this. Uh, we're gonna do a one day delay and so we can minimize that one too. And we're gonna add uh, an add to smart plan. Now here we can choose which smart plan there is. So. Uh, I already have the monthly neighborhood nurture added to there, so I can just tap that and make sure that's saved and perfect. Now, whenever I set someone up on a monthly neighborhood nurture, instead of them just getting the neighborhood nurture from me, they're going to get that intro email first explaining what's going on. Uh, I think it's a great way to set the tone of what you want uh, in the situation, so that way they know uh, what they're expecting. So maybe if you're setting up past clients, uh, you know, that you sold their home to or anything like that, you're going to have those interests. So I would encourage you to set up maybe interest for different situations. Like I said, like past clients, uh, maybe uh, some interested, um, maybe you had some uh, future sellers that are coming on maybe in six months or something, you can set them up on these plans and create a different intro depending on that case. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want any other uh, tips, in uh, command, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com and click on videos. And you can see all of my video trainings right here uh, on this video dashboard. If you want any other help with command, you can always hire me for consultations or setting up your systems in the command training program. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.